Good morning and welcome back to another Slay the Spire stream. I am Aris Vegetable Bread, and today we're starting on the four class combinations. So we finished up all the one class combinations, all the two class combinations, all the three class combinations. Finally, we're doing the last four runs today. The final four class combinations, of which there's only one per class. The ironclad one is, of course, green, blue, purple, ironclad. But I'm just going to call that Prismatic Ironclad, because that's too many colors. Well, let's get started. Meow being a little jerk, not giving us anything. I understand that, I'm used to that. Looks like this right path is pretty good. We get three fights, a fire, an elite, and a fire. And then we have an optional second elite, which is about as much as a non-Meow Ironclad can handle. Um, I'll just get my wrist, wrist brace on here. Um, looks like probably bash defend. We don't have lethal, so it would be nice to set up vulnerable. Unfortunately, triple bash is 27 damage. Um, so that's unfortunate. Uh, next turn we'll have 21. Wait, we'll have 17 with Bash Strike. I don't know why I thought it was 21. I was doing, um... Yeah, that's the math for, um, Wrath Strike. Which is just better. <laughs> uh, so we're in a bit of a pickle here. Um, somehow this didn't really work out very well for us. Uh, so we can block out here and do 9 damage. And put him to 19. But then we're off lethal by 1 again next turn. And we will not have 16 block. So we could do 18 damage, put him to 10, block for 6, take 5, and lose net 1 health in the fight. That seems reasonable. And we go leave on next turn. Uh, we could do Beam Cell or Pommel Strike, I think are reasonable options here. Halt, I think we're not going to do. We don't have any way of getting into Wrath Stance, and we're pretty unlikely to find one, given that we're playing like, 4 classes right now. Let's take Pommel Strike. There's some pretty busted stuff with, um, like, Deflects in Silent and Claws and Defect. And, uh, just Lucky in Watcher. Like, pretty much every class has some zero-cost uh, stuff you want to draw into. So Pommel Strike is a reasonable engine for that. Um, we can only heal for 8 right now. So healing for 18 is a bit of a waste. So let's go ahead and just remove the Strike. And we'll have to hope we find some more attacks. Pretty happy to upgrade either Pommel Strike or Bash here. Um, if we upgrade Bash, then we have to wake up Logavulin when we play Bash. Um, but if we upgrade Pommel Strike, we're kind of drawing into a bunch of stuff that we can't really play, because we only have three energy. Let's upgrade Bash. Okay, both attacking on turn one. Very helpful. Um, if we'd upgraded Pommel Strike, it does 10 damage, is that right? Yeah, it only gets one extra damage. Uh, but two cards is nice. Uh, we can probably Pommel Strike double defend, if we want to do that. I suppose that's stretching the, the bounds of the word probably, because it's a 50% chance, so it's not more probably than not. It's exactly equal probability. Um. I'm going to go turn off that alarm. <laughs> Not sure why my wife set an alarm that's guaranteed to go off during my stream, but she did. Um... I think we just break one, set him up to die next turn, and, and block for five. Uh, if we block for five, we are taking damage on the fight, but that seems unavoidable at this point. Um, I guess if we pommel strike, draw, defend, and double defend, then we only take three, and we could still heal on the fight. I think it's worth looking for that upside. Um, plus we can set this guy to three, so he dies to a weakened strike later. We did get two defense, okay. Thank you. 
All right, now the goal is to take zero more. Try and heal up. Looks like we're going to be able to accomplish that. Uh, yes, this is lethal. Okay, took one damage in the first fight. Healed for one in the second fight. Seems okay so far. Rebound goes pretty well with um, Pommel Strike. Rebound something. Go get it with Pommel Strike. It does require you have Rebound and Pommel Strike in hand and something that costs either one or zero to play with it. Um, go for the Ice also goes pretty well with Pommel Strike because it costs zero. Um, however, Go for the Ice and Pommel Strike are both pretty upgrade heavy. Uh, you really want to get that second charge of weak from Go for the Eyes, and you really want to get that second card draw from Pommel Strike. Um, Go for the Eyes would give us access to both weak and vulnerable, which is nice. Who's our boss here? It is Slime Boss, so weak is pretty good. Um, weak gets you that nice round leg on the 38 attack turn. Plus we have that sort of highly available because of the Pommel Strike. Um, Go for the Ice also blocks her a little bit against Gremlin Knob, which is hard to do. We also have Clothesline if we were just looking for weak. Clothesline uh, gives you weak more consistently. However, we already have a two cost attack and some card draw, so taking another two cost attack is a little bit, um, a little bit suspect. However, Go for the Eyes, um, even if we upgrade it, uh, can only weaken Slime Boss if we draw it during his attack turn, because he doesn't attack the turn before his attack turn. So we can't apply the weak beforehand and then allow it to roll over. Only clothesline can do that. Or at least only clothesline in this pick. Uh, but I think we're going to go for the eyes anyway. It's fine. We have some card drawn. Okay, free uh, free frame here. We get to do whatever we want. And I think what we want to do is kill the acid slime. Weak is saving us three health here, which is appreciated. Palmer Strike lets us up a exhaust the Ascender's Bane. Nice. I think we just passed lethal on accident. Whoops. We got it that way. Almost full health. Crippling Cloud is nice. It's not that great against Slime Boss because the poison wears off whenever the slimes split. Um, also, we're going to have trouble putting together the other poison cards to make that do relevant damage. Um, Dodge and Roll is one of the best dex scaling um, cards in the game. This is one of the few options that actually gets you uh, two block per dex. Sort of it and like halt um, are, I guess, the only ones I can think of. There must be more. Um, Hmm. Weird. Is it really just dodge and roll and halt? I guess I'm gonna go... No, there's no reason to look that up. Okay. Uh, however, deck scaling is hard to find. Uh, we could find it with fasting, um, or... Um, uh, what's the card called? Recompile? Is that it? Whatever, the defect card that gives you minus focus and plus stats. Uh, or footwork, obviously. Um, Ironclad doesn't really have any access to it. Um, and fasting is like pretty difficult to set up. We're not like necessarily trying to do fasting. Well, the fasting dodge and roll is pretty good. Um, I could see picking dodge and roll. It's pretty reasonable. Um, but I would really like to pick an attack. We can't do that here. We could pick Crippling Cloud. Um, Crippling Cloud is good in the... Um, uh, sentry fight, especially considering that we have Bash and the Go for the Eyes. So we have a pretty high debuff deck. So I think I'll take Crippling Cloud. It's also just good at hallway fights. Uh, clearly, Smithing here, uh, Pommel Strike, Go for the Eyes, and Crippling Cloud all have great upgrades. Um, We're doing an elite fight next. Uh, which elite are we most afraid of? I think we're most afraid of Gremlin Nub. Gremlin Nub is pretty scary right now. So go for the Azure Pommel Strike are the good upgrades against Gremlin Nub. Uh, Crippling Cloud is great if it happens to come on turn one, but we can't guarantee that. Although it's not improbable. It's a little bit less than 50-50. And if we upgrade Pommel Strike, then it is almost 50-50. Still not quite. 
Um, yeah, I think I'll upgrade Pommel Strike. Mm, it's just one more damage. Same thing with Go for the Ice, though. Yeah, all right, let's get Pommel Strike. Okay, it is Sentries. Um, let's see, Bash, and then do we defend or strike? Um, if we strike, this guy's get down to 23. Pretty unlikely to do 23 damage next turn. I think the only way we're doing 23 is uh, Pommel Strike, Double Strike, Go for the Eyes. Which is not impossible, especially if we draw Pommel Strike. If we draw Pommel Strike, it's almost guaranteed. Hmm. Maybe that is likely enough to do. We have to take 10 to try that line. So, we draw Pommel Strike um, 5 eighths of the time, approximately. Um, and if we draw Pommel Strike, we only miss if a strike is the last card. And that happens 2 eighths of the time, so a quarter of the time. Um, so, 3 quarters of the time, and times 5 eighths of the time. So, it ends up being. Uh, 24 over 32, so yeah, it's a pretty safe most of the time. Okay, all right, fine, we'll try it. Oh wait, we also miss it if Go for the Eyes is last, huh? Okay, well we're we're committed, so let's go for it. Oh, we did miss it. Um, because Go for the Eyes was last. Okay, uh, well what do we do now? So Crippling Cloud actually blocks for six which is pretty decent, um, and it does full poison to this guy. Removes the buffs from these guys so I can go for the eyes and block it next turn. So it actually kind of blocks for nine, if you want to think about it that way. Um, and I think I do. Um, oh, he's already weak. Let me think about that. Okay, well now he's going to be weak next turn, too, when he's not attacking. Very useful. Hoping to draw a strike here. Did. Alright. Pommel Strike's great in the fight. Um, not super great in this situation, because we kind of want to leave most of these cards. If we draw a Dazed Strike, that's kind of the best case scenario. We'll get to spend all of our energy this turn and next turn. Um, if we get that, we're doing uh, 22 damage this turn. And the next turn we're doing uh, 10 plus 9, so 19 damage. 22 plus 19 is 41. So it's not enough to kill this sentry, even in our dream scenario. So we'll punch the front guy. Get him dead the following turn. Called him the front guy, which he is not. Um, if we um, if we bash the middle guy, he dies to any attack next turn. Um, we're not guaranteed to draw an attack next turn. This only well, actually, does he draw die to go for the eyes? It does three damage go up to five? No. So there's four outs in a 19 card deck that we're drawing five cards out of. So on average, we would expect to draw one of them. Uh, the probability of not drawing one is 19 factorial divided by 15 factorial over, um, or sorry, things are complicated, over what? Oh my god, I don't know, numbers, whatever, we'll, we'll give it a shot. It's not like I'm actually going to expand those factorials, right? So, what's the point of even saying them out loud if they don't really exist? Well, I guess we're pretty happy with that go for the eyes. It ended up blocking for... Uh, actually, did it block? I think it only blocked for that three right there.
Brag and Prep is great. It helps us feel more like a seven. Uh, Foresight is also really good. Um, Foresight helps even out the deck. Helps that pommel strike hit stuff. Actually, it really doesn't because it just when you at this at the start of your turn you scry and then you draw those cards. So it doesn't interact with pommel strike at all. Uh, but it does interact with your deck the same way as pommel strike does, in that you're trying to draw. That's cheap stuff. So Foresight's great. Um, Sword Boomerang is also sort of a standout early damage card. And we kind of need early damage cards. So maybe we'll grab Sword Boomerang here. We don't have any strength scaling. We're not super likely to find it. Um, but I don't hate just one mono deal nine damage either. Let's just grab a, grab a damage common here. We need to rest. I have apparently forgot to check the ending, um, so this is not going to be a heart-killing run. Uh, and I'm okay with that, to be honest. None of the other ones were heart-killing runs either, so I don't feel like I'm missing out too much. Um, I think we're defending and either Crippling Cloud or Bash. He's already got a weak, so Crippling Cloud doesn't block this turn, uh, but it does do... Um, 4-3-2 is uh, 9 damage and blocks next turn. Bash does 10 damage. So it's vulnerable for next turn. Uh, looks like we're going to have some trouble blocking next turn, so we'll go with Crippled Cloud. I was wrong. We can block just fine next turn. Okay, 3 damage to develop, 6 damage, or block out. Um, I think we developed some damage. We don't want to get robbed. We're still HP neutral on the fight. Yeah, looks like we could have afforded to uh, block out that turn. But it's hard to know that. There's a catalyst. Um, we have crippling clouds. We have some poison. Um... Chill is actually pretty neat. With one orb slot in uh, in AOE fights, Chill is going to be a um, block for a ton on turn one. It's like basically an anchor. Plus we have a uh, bag of crap, so things that get innate get better, um, especially if they cost zero. We're going to take Chill here. I'm chill quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't need an upgrade. Catalyst is also just like one of the best cards in the game. Um, so probably shouldn't just glide right past that. Um, we're not going to see another Catalyst, I would assume. And we will see more Poison stuff. Um, uh, Noxious Fumes is an uncommon. Deadly Poison is a common. Um, poison Stab is a common. Uh, Bouncing Flask is uncommon. Um, probably not going to have enough poison to, like, do well against, um, um, Slime Boss, but I think Catalyst is the, the highest upside pick here. I think we'll grab Catalyst, see if we can make that happen. It's possible we end up removing that from the deck. We can heal for 20, not quite 25. Um, we are not going to a store, so we probably shouldn't take the Regret. Um, I think I'll just take the 5 max HP. We're in pretty good shape. We're probably gearing up to fight the elite. Uh, gouged and trampled by horned beast it means gremlin knob. Um, do we want to just fight gremlin knob? Um, what happens when you get gremlin knob in this fight? Does he start like attacking or something? Uh, what's the name of this event? Dead Adventure. Um, yeah, it's just a regular Gremlin Nom. So, okay, so if we fight this elite, maybe we're not fighting this one, but maybe that's fine. 
We could just take a question mark and... But if we win this elite really easily, we can fight both. We'll try it. Okay, alright. Fair enough. We got Crippling Cloud on turn one. That's a good start. You know what? Actually, I'm going to restart the fight and um, use the energy potion that turn. I totally forgot I had that. We would be cheating to restart the fight and then not fight Gremlin, obviously. Um, so Catalyst gets out of the deck and does a bunch of damage, so it seems like a pretty have this quick there. If we can kill Grabandom next turn, I think if we get like max damage, we probably can. That actually looks quite a bit like max damage. So, okay, so this does 15 and this does 12. So, those together do 27. 27 plus 6 is lethal. Wow. All right. Great fight. We get a Gremlin Horn very appropriately. Um, we can take an Anger more uh, perspective strength scaling, but we still don't have any strength scaling. Heat sinks seems like a total wing and a prayer. I think we take none of these. We'll just skip. Uh, Grumman Horn is great. I'm glad we took this event. Uh, we're also still f full health, so if we go here and like, get a potion out of it, maybe we do fight, fight another elite. We can give it a shot. Uh, we can block for five or develop four poison on Blue Slaver. Um, I think I like developing some poison. Make sure we can end the fight in a timely manner. We are going to be weakened, so. Uh, they're both weak already. So I'm going to target the Acid Slime. Hopefully we can um, execute him soon. And get some Gremlin Horn value. Take him off the board. We can triple strike him and not kill him because we are weak. Uh, bash strike is 7 plus what's normally 9, in this case would be 6. So 7 plus 6 is 13, not enough to kill him, um, even with the poison. So I guess we can defend and just set up the bash. Okay, so now we can kill him and get the equipment horn value. Ooh, we did get a potion. Flex spot goes pretty well with Twin Strike. It's a very short-sighted pick, but if we get Twin Strike and Sword Boomerang on the same turn, we can really blow somebody up. Maybe we try to save that for the Slime Boss break turn, though. We can't really set that up, though. Um, we can take Empty Fist just because it upgrades to do 14 damage, because it's ridiculously overtuned. Um... Escape plan. Try to lean into the catalyst a little bit. Um, I don't really like taking twin strikes unless I have some reason to do so. We already have a sword boomerang, so um, I did not end up winning with that with the watcher. We got killed by a time time lord. Um, we end up doing um, shiv stuff and. Um, Time Lord is not having it. Uh, that actually, I will throw the link in there for that. Purple Iron. That was a good, good run. Um, um, wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, for this fire. Uh, so, there you go. Um, yeah, we saw Time Lord. He, was, uh, he wasn't our floor 51. He was our floor 50, so we knew he was coming. But um, we did not plan for him. I just thought we'd be able to, to outscale him with uh, Kunai, but we were not too slow. Or too fast, depending on how you want to think about it. Um, yeah, I think we just skip here. 
I didn't fight the elite. Alright, Magavulan. We can't bash without waking him up. Um, I think maybe we just bash anyway. And then next turn, hopefully, draw a Sword Boomerang and flex spot it. Actually, we have, like, no block next turn, so I think we need to not wake him up, because then we, we take 20. Um, okay. We could wake him up with Flex Spot, Sword Boomerang, Double Strike. It's a lot of damage. Um, let's see, what else could we do? If we wait, we get two new cards and these three. It's still a pretty good wake up. Don't mind that. Um, we could Crippling Cloud and Sword Boomerang. Does one damage plus the four poison. Exhausts Crippling Cloud, plus we're guaranteed to only take 15 next turn. But if we wait for Crippling Cloud and uh, play it on, one of, on his first attack turn, then it blocks for 10 instead of blocking for 5, which it does right now. Um, also, it's not together with um, Catalyst right now. Yeah, to be honest, next turn's wake-up is already just better than this turn's, because it's 10 damage versus 9, so we'll just wait. Okay, so now I think we flex spot, because the Sword Boomerang and Pommel Striker in hand. So let's get it. Unfortunately, skipping Bash here, but we have too many attacks. Um, and a flex spot ticking, so... Um, looks like Crippling Cloud Catalyst is, is okay here. Uh, we're already blocking for 5. So I think the uh, 4 poison is more valuable than blocking for 5 more. Um, okay. Well, now our health total is getting a little scary, so we block for as much as we can and strike with the rest. Um, seems like Bash is good. And then this says 12, this says 15. Do I want to draw these two cards? I do. Okay. And that's the fight. Ooh, Molten Egg. Well, that seems like it was worth it. Rebound Plus is great. Okay. I still think we need to rest. Um, but we're in pretty good shape now. Molten Egg is a great relic. I will absolutely cripple like that on turn one. I guess we could have duplication potion to that. Ooh, we can duplication potion the catalyst, so it goes up to six and then twelve. It's not bad. Um, okay, and then we can. Bash. We don't want to pummel strike because he's attacking next turn. We've got a bunch of defense, so we'd like to keep those all together. Um, I don't want to skip rebound plus though, so I'll, I'll rebound last because I don't want to defend next turn. Okay, so he is currently breaking. Because um, he is taking 10 and going to 73, which is less than 75. So we've got to do as much damage as we can and break him better. Um, not bad. 37. I'll take that. Ooh, both attacking is pretty deadly. Um, <laughs> damn. Looks like we lost this round to just slime boss RNG. We could have come into the fight with higher HP, I guess, but I don't know. If you break slime and then both halves attack you, um, uh, you're in trouble. We also didn't draw enough damage to split either of them that turn. Yeah, I don't feel like we did anything particularly wrong. Uh, the Catalyst wasn't great. If we had upgraded Catalyst, we probably would have won that run. Um, because we would have duplication potioned it and gone from 
instead of, uh, what was it, 3 to 6 to 12, we would have gone 3 to 9 to 27. Pretty big difference. Uh, maybe could have gotten a, like, break it 20 or something. But even then, <laughs> I think we still would have died.